Hello, hello, everybody. Thank you very much for taking time out of your day. I have a couple of, I'm just answering questions from my uh, customer, sorry, my, what do you call them, subscribers for my uh, YouTube channel. Anyway, Convo Whisperer. Okay, so the questions are from Michael uh, Gumbinger and from Tater Nuts. Uh, restore part is missing. Where's the restored part of this video title? Okay, you are correct. I'm back in restore. Uh, it's not entirely there. This is a partly a promo video to the course I have. It's in Udemy. And it's called Learn Backup and Restore with Commvault and Get a High Paying Job. And scroll down a little bit here. What, which one was it? It's in for Restore. Which one is this one? What is the video number here? Uh, backup and Restore Virtual Machine using Commvault. Okay. Backup and Restore using Virtual Machine. Backup and Restore. Back up and restore. Here we go. Uh, yeah, here we go. Right here. Using Active Directory file system. Windows. On Vault. Let's see. Okay. Here, here we go. Right here. Oh, here it is right here. Back and restore virtual machine using Commvault virtual uh, server agent. So it's in this course. And um, yeah, so anyway, that's the course. This is kind of a promo, right, for the course. So partially it's there and uh, partially it's not. Okay. So the other questions that I have from the individual. So I answered this one. Uh, the other one is from Eduardo. Gary Bay, all right, Media Agent version 11. Uh, basically, the, I think they're asking, does, it, does Media Agent version 11 work with Simpana version 10? The answer is no. So the ComServe is the, the brains. And the ComServe in version 11, or, or sorry, yeah, if the Media Agent is version 11, it's not necessarily going to work with, with Commvault version 10. I've... I know um, I've seen to where even some, if it's off by a couple of uh, releases, it's not going to work. So the answer is definitely no. Um, I've never seen a, a mediation in version 11 work with a, with a common server in version 10. I've never seen that. And, you know, I've never seen that. If you, if you find an example of it, great. But I've never seen it actually work with that. Okay. Um, I did ask a question like what, what items Commvault you'd like to see uh, videos explain how to do. So more examples of restore like Cassandra stores. So that's Cassandra's like a database. An example of a good reports for administration. And that's from uh, Bo Bodum. And uh, the next one is Siraj Pingle, Commvault deduplication setup. All right. And let's see another one. Um, I answered this already. Where's the restore part? Uh, next one is uh, Sadishif uh, Sharma. ComServe and Live Sync setup on server host on Azure environment with all best practices and network setting at the Azure level. Okay. And then uh, from Nick. Uh, apologize, Nick. I'm not going to try to pronounce your last name. It's very difficult, I'm sure. And so before, what I would do is I would Google the last name and try to pronounce it. Uh, but I think I'd get that wrong either way. So you're asking about Commvault best practices. And, okay. So I know I can, on this one, definitely I can answer to the Commvault setup. Yeah, Commvault. ComServe and Live Seek setup. So I can definitely do a ComServe setup uh, on this video. So I'll take you um, I'll, on this video. I'll just like show you the ComServe, how to set one up. So I have my own this 16 gig of RAM server. 
Let me actually show you what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is my server right here. And it's 16 gig of RAM. Yeah, 16 gig of RAM. And you know what? 2.67 gigahertz, right? 16 gig of RAM, Ethernet, all that good stuff. Anyway, on this one, I'm going to install Comsol. I'm uh, sorry, Com Comvault, Comserve. So how do I do that? I go to cloud.comvault.com, of course, and I click on Media Kits right here. One of my Media Kits, I'm going to click on probably the first thing, the Solution Kit, and under Solution Kit, I'm going to select, select, excuse me, select Feature Release 11.26, which is a Comvault Express. And from here, I'm going to click on this download. Just download this um, this software right here. So I'm just going to right click on it and run as admin or whatever, and extract. So I'm going to extract the files. It's going to show where it goes and all that stuff. All happy happiness there. From here, it's going to ask me where do I where do I want to put it at? Do I want to install it locally or? Download it. So I'm just going to install on this computer itself, actually. So I've already actually changed the host name of the computer, so I'm good there. And this is this is a you know this is a standalone machine. This is a, I'm built. I'm this machine is just for ComServe only. You know, I, I'll tell you in the in the past I played around with different labs, lab environments, and it just didn't work well with me too much memory and all that stuff. I said, okay, let me just go ahead and build my own server and use it as a comm serve. So that's what I'm about to do. Okay. It's going to install this uh, package on the computer itself. That's what I'm going to do. And it's going to install it on the machine, the local server here. And if it doesn't go well, I just reformat my machine and start over as a as a new one if this is your first time installing Commvault, ideally you're going to put it on c drive or the you know in our case c drive we have a about two terabytes free of space i raided it right so i did a raid i had four hard drives and i did a they're each 500 gig of ram or 500 gig rather and i just did a raid so i a raid zero so they're all being used and that and so it all one so it's like almost two gig two terabyte of uh space so the next of course through here get the com wall going and I, i'm thinking i'm thinking it's going to be fine 16 gig of ram for this server should be fine my last one I, so my other server my other computer I had uh 32 gig of ram but i was using virtual even more player actually. And I was using, I was installing ComServe and running like with like 26 gig RAM. It was just like so slow. So maybe it's something to do with the virtualization part. I'm like, okay, fine. I'll just leave it like it is and see what, uh, what, what happens. So I know in production environment, like in real world environment, people have the Commvault, like the ComServe. It's almost always it's a computer, or sorry, it's a server by itself, and it's got a bunch of big, uh, it's got like 64, 120 gig of RAM, something like that, a bunch of, a couple terabyte of space or whatever. Normally, I don't see, although it's probably better, actually, in a production environment, if you have the, you know, a, a beefy a VM, that's a comm serve, and you have, say, 120 gig of RAM, but it's a VM, and you can V motion between different ESX hosts, with like enough memory, of course. And it's probably ideal because you can go down or you take a snapshot or a lot of different cool, cool things about it that you can you can save time rebuilding your comm server if you need to, versus if you have a physical device, it's a lot longer. Because you have to rebuild the OS, you have to rebuild you have to rebuild Commvault. Then you have to import like the database that comes with Commvault or that you're backing up the DR. And that it could take like a day, you know, not a day, maybe, maybe five hours, maybe. I mean, it's not very long, but it takes like five hours because you, how long does it take to build a server? Like, mm, 
two hours and then to patch it that's probably another two hours and put on comserve that's another hour yeah it's probably six hours five hours six hours to do all that process okay looks like our uh our lab is set up or com vault set up so let's take a look here so if i click on this here uh so it didn't prompt me for anything it just like you know set this up and uh so i got my url here i'll just click on that and open up and uh we can go from there okay and here we would just put say like your email address and your password and all that stuff we put that here i'm going to put mine and push uh push create account okay that's uh pretty much it with commvault so we installed it if you want to go over to your start and do commvault and then commvault process manager and then commvault again and commvault console so what i'm looking at here is i'm looking at my commvault to make sure it's installed start it up oh good happy look i have 16 gig of ram and i'm i'm happy I really think it has something to do with the virtual machine. Really, I do. So, anyway, and then, uh, yeah, this is all there. So, that's that. So, I'm able to log in as, um, it's going to say admin, even though, like, your whatever username is that you set up, it's going to say admin, so it's fine. And then you're going to put in your credentials. So this would be, like, um, uh, admin, and then that password you set up with when you created that uh, account. You know, like, you know, the uh, email and then the password you put in that's well, going to be admin and then the password you put in whatever that password is that you uh, put in there whatever that is so the very first thing obviously right to do the very first thing you want to do the very 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 first thing you want to do is under security just highlight that right click under com cell users and select new user you can do this to the the command cell, which is that uh, website thing, command center, they call it. You can do it through here as well, right? Uh, but I'm, I'm not, so I'm just going to do it this way. So put in your, you know, put in, give yourself uh, master uh, permissions. And it's like, it's like admin, domain admin, basically. And then just create a username and password for yourself. You know, in your name, maybe whatever. So mine will be like Gary, whatever, and then my password, whatever my password is, whatever I want to do, and then uh, yeah, and then uh, yep, Gary, and then uh, email. I can leave that blank. Enabled. That's all fine. User groups, master. Okay, when you're master, you're pretty much everything, right? So click OK. Email address. Okay, whatever. I'll put it in this here. Happy, let's see, Gary at happy Dubai dot local. That's fine. Yeah. Yep. Gary at happy Dubai dot local, which is uh which is fine. Right? Yeah, so this is how you install Commvault basically, right? I mean, it took me like an hour you know, to, to install it. So it is a bit tedious, but hey, listen, this is what you do when you want to learn the tool, right? Um, you, this is what you do when you want to learn the tool, get a, get a, get a job in it. This is, uh, this is how it works. So thanks a lot for coming along the ride. And, um, and I'll show you some couple different things. So I have my lab kind of set up. I mean, obviously we just, you saw me, set up my Commvault lab here and I'll just be playing around with a lot more, you know, I mean, it's, it's a, it's a box there. It, it, it's dedicated by itself. It's a Commvault com serve right there. That's all it does. And did it, did it install also window uh, media agents? Let's see if it installed media agents as Dell or uh, let's see, did it install media agents? Well, it did. Okay, installed immediately as well. Well, you know the same one, right? Which is fine. Not a big deal. Not a big deal with that. So it's a file system and it's a Windows media agent as well. See this right here? 
yeah, it's a file system or it can be a file system. I haven't set it up yet. All I do is right click and add uh, software and I put in, you know, file system agent or install the software on it. So, yeah, thanks a lot for coming along with the ride. And uh, I'll have more videos because obviously I have my own Commvault now. You know, I did before, but I was uh, using this as a virtual machine. I'll, okay, you know what? I'll dedicate a whole, you know, serve to Dell server. So I was dedicated with 16 gig RAM. I'll put it on there. Done. And then it gives me, you know, I have this for like three months, I think, the trial version. So I should be doing a lot more videos. So thanks a lot, and we'll see you in the next one.